Hello class! So before I proceed to the discussion of our second week lessons for second quarter, let me have a quick recall about our previous lesson. No? So about the module 1 which covers about lines in space. So last week we are aiming to achieve three objectives. So these are the following competencies. So una, we, we want to differentiate the different types of lines, particularly perpendicular, parallel, and skew lines. Second, we want to define transversal line and the angles formed by this transversal line. And the third one, identify angles formed by two lines and a transversal. So, part of this recall, let me proceed to page 3. Okay. So, talking about lines or types of lines, so, let's start with lines that do not intersect. Ito yung mga lines na walang common point, walang point of intersection, hindi nagtatagpo. But, remember that when we're talking about lines that do not intersect, they, this could be classified into two. They could be either parallel lines or skew lines. So, hindi, alisin natin or i-unlearn natin yung idea na kapag sinabing lines that do not intersect, right away, they are parallel lines. So, we need to have a complete definition about parallel lines. So, if we're talking about lines that do not intersect, the question is, when do we know if they are parallel and when are they skew lines? So, ganito yon. If two lines do not intersect and they are lying on the same plane or in other words, they are coplanar, nasa iisang plane sila, then they are parallel lines. However, if these two lines that do not meet, do not intersect, are not lying on the same plane, big sabihin walang common plane na nagko-contain dun sa mga line na yun, or, in a, or, or on a simpler term, they are simply not, uh, not coplanar, then these lines are called as skew lines. So, ang basa po dyan, S-K-E-W-I, skew lines. Again, there are two types of lines that do not intersect. They are parallel and skew lines. If these lines that do not meet are coplanar, then they are parallel. But if these lines that do not meet are non-coplanar, then they are simply skew lines. So, next to differentiate, we can proceed here with what we call the parallel and perpendicular lines. So, remember, if two lines are lying in the same plane, they could either be parallel or they could intersect at one point. So, ang ibig lang sabihin ng part na to, gusto nating bigyan ng idea na kapag ka ang dalawang lines contain siya ng isang common plane, pwedeng yung dalawang lines na yon ay hindi nag-meet, katulad po nito, ng line N sa kanang line L dito sa illustration, pero pwede rin naman na nag intersect sila at one point, nag meet sila at one point. Patulad nitong line N sa kanang line K. So, obviously, they are coplanar because there could be a one, there could be one plane that would contain them, but they do not, but um, they simply intersect. So, yun yung possibility kapag kahalimbawang two lines ay nasa same plane. Parallel siya or intersecting at one point. Now, we have what we call the parallel postulate. Okay, so erase ko muna tong drino ko dito. So, let me use this illustration. So, here, if we're talking about um, parallel postulate, simple lang naman yung uh, gustong sabihin ng parallel postulate. So, basahin natin, if there is a line and a point not on the line, then there is exactly one line through the point parallel to the given line. So, marami na namang words. But I hope, class, you will not be overwhelmed again by these um, words that we are using for the, uh, for the postulate. So, simply, let's visualize the postulate using these images. So, if there is a line, so in this illustration, we represent that um, statement using this figure, yung line L or yung color black na line. If there is a line, so yun yung given line natin, given distinct line, and a point, so yun yung point P, and a point na hindi daw contained ng line kanina. If there is a line, ito yung line L, 
and a point na, and a point not on the line so ang tinutukoy doon ay yung point P ang magiging conclusion daw natin or what we can be um, what we can conclude from that is there will be exactly one line through the point parallel to the given line kung meron ka daw given na distinct line tapos isang point na hindi naman contain dun sa given line kanina then sure tayo na merong eksaktong isang line na magpapas through doon sa point na yon, katulad dito sa point P that will be parallel to the given line so dito naging um, yung red line nagpass through sa point P ano implication nun? that point P is actually lying on the red line so we can be sure that there is exactly one line through that point P na magiging parallel sa given line. So, halimbawa, class, yung red line na to, pangalanan ko to ng line M, then we can state, based on the parallel postulate, that therefore, line M is actually parallel to line L. Napansin niyo yung naging symbol ko. Wait lang, masyadong nagkadikit. So, cap, uh, small letter M, that's the name of the line, is parallel to, yan, dalawang line parallel to line L. So, pwede nating sabihin na ganyan. Or kahit baliktaran, therefore, line L is parallel to line M. Now, let's proceed to perpendicular postulate. Now, for perpendicular postulate class, ito naman, ang sinasabi niya, if there is a line and a point not on the line, then there is exactly one line through the point perpendicular to the given line. There is exactly one line through P perpendicular to L. So, kanina, same lang naman tayo ng given distinct line. So, kaya pinagsunod yan, no? Kasi there are two possibilities if you have that instance. That if you have here a distinct line, in this case, pangalan niya line L, yung color black na line, and then a point not on the line, pangalan niya pa rin ay point P, then there is exactly one line through the point perpendicular to the given line. So, kung meron tayo, kung kanina, ang possibility is may distinct line, may point na hindi kasama dun sa line na yun, we can have one exact line, or exactly one line, na magiging, uh, exactly one line na magiging parallel dun sa given na first line. Dito naman, magkakaroon tayo ng exactly one line na magiging perpendicular. When do we say that the line is perpendicular to the given line? It is when the line is actually intersecting at a point. If the uh, if the lines are intersecting at a common point. Katulad nito, line L and then this red line is intersect are intersecting at this point. Tapos, anong nafo-form niya? 90 degree angle or right angle. Diba? Yun yung definition of perpendicularity. Okay.